Hello, good people. Um, there's been a lot of changes at uh, Morton Family Adventures in the last couple of weeks, and we are gearing up for another trip. You'll learn a little bit more about that later. But because of some of those changes, I am being forced to uh, install a new brake controller. And so here are some of the things that I just got, and the reason I wanted to share this is because, number one, there's not a lot of great information about this for the car that we have, but this is an outstanding setup. This is the Red Arc Tow Liberty, Tow Pro Liberty, and it is um, where my normal uh, brake controller is kind of hanging down below the dash where my knee hits it. This is actually going to be a system that is hidden behind the dash. You won't see it. There'll be one piece that you see, which is right here. It's a little, uh, little knob. And so I wanted to take you through it real quick and show you what all comes with it. This is a great system. So this is the Topro Liberty by Red Arc. And that's it. That's it. And so what you have is the brake controller, which can mount on any surface behind the dash. You can mount in any orientation. There's the wiring for it. And then this little cool thing is what I love the most. And so that will be being mounted behind the dash. Let me turn their, their uh, label up, uh, right side up. There is a remote uh, Dob that goes in your dash and you can either drill a hole and mount the, the, the knob, the switch, which is fine, but they also make this little doohickey. Doohickey, that's a, that's a south, southern word. But this actually goes in your dash and uh, I just happen to have in my dash a blank space where I can pull the old button blank out and this will go in. This knob will actually sit in there perfectly. It is connected by an ethernet cable, which is amazing. We'll get into that later. It is lighted and so this will be in my dash and I'll make my adjustments to my brake controller right there. So we have all of the components including a car specific um, brake controller. Our new car came with uh, the tow package already installed and uh, all I need to have is this hooks into the harness and goes directly to the red arc. And so I'll show you um, that process in just a minute but I just wanted to share this because this is a fantastic system. All right let's go and install it. All right, so we're going to be putting this uh, brake controller into our uh, 2015 Nissan Armada Platinum. It's got the tow package, so it already has the wiring harness uh, under the dash. And so in order to uh, get to that, the easiest way is to remove, there's two screws at the bottom of this panel, and that'll allow me to be able to take the... Um, take that panel down and get to everything just a little bit easier. So there's two screws. Whoops. One is there. I'm just gonna lay that there. And the other one is on this side of the OBDC. Okay, so those screws are out. Now, that should kinda come forward a little bit here. I believe. I got a little pry tool here I'm working with. Hopefully this is gonna come out okay. It's supposed to, there we go. And then on this side, same thing. All right, there we go. Now we're exposed. Right up in here, there's a set of uh, Oops, let me get in there a little bit closer. There's a set of three relays, and as you'll see, there's a connector right there. And it says on it, if you can read that, it says electric brake controller. So we just have to separate that from this harness. It's just taped up there to keep it out of the way. All right, so I'll do that real quick. So here is the connector. It's hanging loose. 
And so what I'm going to do is this is the connector that came from Red Arc. Uh, it is the Red Arc connector for this car. And it'll only fit in here one way. So that will, whoops, go on right there. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to, for right this second, I'm just going to kind of put the, the slack up in here so I can just get it a little bit easier to work with. Okay, so this is the other end of that connector, and it goes to, hand me the red arc. It goes to the back end of this red arc. Now, what I'm going to do is there's a place on the inside here that I'm going to mount that. I'm going to put some double-sided tape on uh, the back side so that it'll actually stick, but I'm also going to secure it with uh, zip ties to keep it in one place. And then we will plug in the uh, connector, and then we'll get the other part of the uh, system wired up. What I have is I've got some two-sided Gorilla tape, and I'm going to cut a little bit of it, put it on the back of the red arc, and then right back here behind the dash, I'm going to try and show you. Right back here is this little white box. Ah, right there. Okay. Now those numbers that are on that uh, box, you might want to take a picture of those and, um, and keep them for further notice just in case you need to... Uh, look that back up at some point. Um, but that just makes a really good surface to to put the, uh, the red arc on as a good solid mounting place. So I'm gonna do that and then I'll show you where the switch is gonna go and I'll show you about the uh, routing the wires. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and do that and then I'll show you. All right, so I've tentatively, I've run the red arc cable over the top so that I can go ahead and plug it in right here. Now, if you'll notice, I've put the Gorilla Tape on one side because I'm trying to stay away from those stickers as much as I possibly can. But also, I know that I'm going to reinforce this with the uh, zip ties. And so, it should be held in place pretty good once I get it back there. To make it a little bit easier, I did decide to take these bolts out. They are uh, actually... Uh, 10 millimeter. There's four of them that hold this little knee panel on. And, and it does. It's kind of got a little metal, uh, kind of a little area where um, a little tongue goes through. And there's another one on this side right there. There's a little metal tab that kind of slips down into that. And that just gives me a little bit freer uh, area to work. The one thing I forgot to suggest is alcohol swabs. So what I did is I wiped down the back of the, uh, of the Red Arc really well with alcohol. And then I stuck my, uh, my Gorilla Tape on there. One of the reasons is uh, I'm in South Carolina and it is um, mid-July, and so it is brutally uh, humid out here. So I am uh, working against nature to do this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take another one of these alcohol swabs. And so I'm going to wipe this side with it and get it good and, well, whatever that number was. I'm glad I took a picture of it. Because whatever that number was, it is gone. I'll try and put the red arc right there. Oh, let that dry for a minute. Ooh. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and plug that in. Oh, boy. All right, now that should get me up here to where I can actually put the the red arc on and I'm going to press it in place for a minute. This is going to be a, a zip tie fiesta. All right, so let's go. Okay. 
So basically, I have two zip ties all the way around. So the next thing that we have for this is there is a great little switch cover that actually goes into this blank. And so I'm going to be real careful because they say these break really easy. So let me kind of slide it around a little bit so I can get a better view. There we go. All right. So it does. It just takes a little more finagling than I thought it did. Now, ooh, I don't want to break it. Or my tool for that matter. Wow. All right. Come on. Come on. There we go. All right. So it came out clean. There's the blank. And so there is the hole in the dash. Now, the coolest part of this, or one of the cool parts of this, is that little switch plate that I was telling you about. And so we're going to install it. And it's supposed to go right in here. And it's supposed to fit perfectly. So there it is. Now, the kit comes with these little pads. And so I'm going to put them on there it's just kind of keep them from keep it from rattling around a little bit in case. So let me take it back out and I'm going to stick those on there. All right. And that one's got the little notch in it. As you can see, there's a notch. That's the top of it. Whoops. Good gracious. I can't get my hands functioning well tonight. All right. So that's on there. And I'm going to do the same to the bottom. Mm -hmm. There we go. All right. On the bottom side of it, just kind of goes right there. And that just keeps it from rattling once it goes in because it's got these little triggers on the side that hold it in place. All right. So I'm going to push those in. And there it is. So there it is mounted. This little uh, knob, and I'm going to make sure it's all the way to the bottom. This goes into that switch area there, just kind of drops in, and there's a place for it. Now it looks like it's loose, but there's screws or bolts that you actually, not bolts, but there are, there is a, like a lock a nut that goes in there and gives it what it needs. Uh, I tightened it up with a um, with a half inch. That's what that is. It's a half inch uh, driver. And so if this is turned all the way down, we'll set this thing to to zero. And stick that on there, and that's what it looks like. All right, so it has the thing on there, and basically you just dial in what your what your uh, brake needs to be set at. Now, the other end of that cable, or the other end of that, is literally uh, an Ethernet cable, and so you can plug it in there, and then run your wire. And it goes into the front port on the red arc. And that's pretty much the, the entire installation. Super simple. Uh, the only thing that made it difficult is me. And so we're going to go ahead and get this kind of set back in there. There we go. So that plug just goes right into there. It's an Ethernet cable. It only goes one way, and then you hear it click and lock into place. So remember, we're putting these 10 inch or 10 millimeter, pardon me, uh, bolts back in. Four of them locks into these tabs. Remember, and then is that it? Yeah. All right. And then there's two more. There's one here. And then there's one 
up top here and then I'm just gonna put them back in there taking this out made that uh, a ton easier just so you'll know just I could get to everything so much better with that in, ah, with that not in my way and so there we go and then the last one so what I'm going to do is I'm going to zip tie right here and this is my um, wiring harness for the brake controller and then my other ethernet end for the button all right let's button this thing back up there we go all right locked in now these buttons And then finally, my ethernet connector for the button for the new one. All right, now, this, in order to get these in, you gotta push in at the top. All those little hangers. I'll pull this out just a little bit because I didn't get that up enough. There we go. All right, there we go, all right. And so we just press that in, it's locked into place. And then we've got our two screws to put back in and we are done. One goes right, right there. And the other one on the other side of the connector for the computer. Okay, so what you're looking at is the installed version of it. And so what you end up doing is you can actually see, let me see if I can get good and close on those. If you press the button, a light comes on and you can see what number you're on. There's one, or there's zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, and so you can set your trailer, um, set your uh, brake level at whatever you'd like, and it is uh, good to go. That was, all in all, it was kind of a painless uh, install. We, uh, we will be traveling uh, in the next couple of weeks, we're going to be going to uh, a couple of places. Hilton Head is one of them. Um, and then we're planning on a great trip up uh, through West Virginia and into uh, Pennsylvania and then New York, uh, passing by uh, a famous waterfall maybe, and then uh, heading into Canada for a little bit with the camper. And so this is going to be a new, uh, a new era for us. All right. Um, I thank you for watching, and I hope this was helpful. Uh, like and subscribe if you haven't already. It would certainly help our channel and help us, and we'd really appreciate it. All right, thank you so much. We'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.